It's supposed to be the last day of the calendar year. So, uh, this end of the year, we need some measure. Otherwise, if there was no count of New Year's and some of you counting your birthdays, I don't trust you on the birthdays because <laughs> you may keep on counting eighteen, 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 eighteen. <laughs> At least you say this is going to be 2015. I'm sure you're not going to say 2014, 2014 next year, no. <laughs> so we will stick to the new year. The idea of counting time is because we need some measure, we need some kind of milestone just to know are we going forward or backward in our lives. I want you to look, 2014, you as a human being, not your business, not your career, not other things, those things matter but you take care of that. But as a human being, have you moved for forward or backward? This is something that you have to evaluate today. <laughs> you must evaluate every night. But if you are a lousy accountant of life, at least once a year you must evaluate. If you evaluate once a decade, it'll be too late, believe me. You can't fix it. Once a day, once a week, once a month, if you're evaluating, you'll be able to take corrective measures in one's life. At least once a year, if you're evaluating, have I moved forward as a human being or have I become backward? Simple way of checking this is, 2013, how I was, 2014, am I a little more joyful human being? I'm a little more relaxed, I'm a little more compassionate, I'm a little more loving. You just have to check. Don't… don't go by your family's judgment because there may be many local prejudice, you know. We don't know. Vested interests, family, neighbors, friends, these are all vested interests. If you don't do what they think you should do, they will think you have fallen. Thirty-three years ago, everybody thought, I have fallen and lost my mind, okay? Today the same people clap their hands, that's different because that's for a different reason. But I'm saying, even if you've taken a positive step, somebody else may be saying something. So I don't want somebody else's evaluation of who you are. Within yourself, sincerely you look and see, have you moved forward as a human being? because you are one year closer to your grave. Tch. Are you going to at least die as a better human being, if not live? <laughs> Suppose you and me die tomorrow morning, are we dying as a little better human beings than what we were a year ago? This is an important question. If we live, wonderful. Suppose we die, there is no regret. <laughs> Very important or no? Huh? If you live as better human beings, wonderful for us, wonderful for everybody around us. Suppose we die, at least there's no regret, what a horrible creature I am and I'm dying and everybody will be glad, that's different <laughs> So if you're going to make people around you joyful and relieved only when you die, that's <laughs> that's not a good way to live. They're joyful because of your presence is good. They're joyful because you're absent is not a good thing. It's important. It's important to check this. And the coming year, you must have a plan how to become a better human being than the way I was in 2014. I want you to have a clear-cut plan. How am I going to be a better human being? What is my plan? You must have a plan of your own. We can help you with a GPS, <laughs> how to negotiate your plan, but you must have a plan. Don't wait for cosmic geometry to come together. Cosmic geometry is in a wonderful place, otherwise it would have crashed. Only because cosmic geometry is perfect, it is going on, isn't it? 
Did you see any uh, extra noises, loud noises coming up today morning when the sun was coming up? Friction, cut, 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 it came up like that, like an old machine. Very smoothly came up, isn't it? Huh? Absolutely smooth. You didn't even notice it? <laughs> so smoothly it came up. So the cosmic geometry is going perfect. You don't worry about where the stars are, what is the arrangement, is it okay, not okay, it's perfect. It is you, are you going to ride it or are you going to be crushed by it? That's a question. So you must have a clear-cut plan for 2015, how am I going to be a better human being within myself? What happens around you is a consequence of the way the world is running and the way we conduct things, many things. Consequences are okay, but how we are is very important because this is what determines the quality of who we are. What happens, we have little more, little less, this happens, that happens. That is not the quality of your life, that is just the content of your life. Content should not decide the quality, it is always the context which decides the quality of one's life. So the coming year, the plan must be good, a workable plan, hmm? I want you to be an ambitious plan, not a stupid, silly, tiny little plan, a very ambitious plan by the end of this year. I must be in this kind of a state, hmm? Time to plan. The coming year, we have a clear-cut plan and we work through the plan, a deliverable plan, an ambitious one, not a small one. I want all of you to evolve a plan like that. If necessary, write it down, this is how I'm going to be in the coming year. Whatever is your idea of being better human being, you don't have to go by my prescriptions, but if you're better, you must be functioning within yourself at least with less friction, less struggle, less turmoil, yes? That's an indication that you're better. <laughs>